Zotero! And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how and who you will be enjoying your Valentine's Day with. Now, this is simultaneously for people who are romantic or in that place in their life, that perspective where you are either with someone or you are looking to be with someone. And this is also for simultaneously for people who want to take the pressure off the whole day. It's just another day. It can be about self-love or friendship love and that type of thing, but it can also just be a fun time and another looking at anything that you can focus on or enjoy out of it or thing to look forward to. It's meant to include everyone, as you know, I love to do. And that way, no matter what your sort of intention is going into this spread, we can try to include everyone best po way possible. So that way that day can be either what ever meaning you want to give it and and give it that intensity and love fill type of aspiration or you can just have the best day possible in general and that's equally as good i also want to remind you guys that i have an intuition training course and a tarot training course and i attribute both of these to dramatically excelling me in my practices this is why i always talk about it nearly everything people ask me about i can always go well that gets answered there so if you are curious about it you can go check it out in the description below and I want to let all my Patreon people know that I just posted videos about explaining the difference between channeled messages and channeling and just the whole inner workings of that and all the different flavors. Uh, coding, yes, spiritual coding is in fact a thing. The most powerful manifestation technique I have. I have seen a lot of people have success after me teaching them this. And in addition to it, uh, can you still manifest even with blockages. So letting you guys know that's all available. But back to the question at hand. As you can see, we have four groups in front of us. They are all numerically labeled. I'm gonna give you a moment to pick the group that you resonate with most. Now that you have, you can go down to the description where you can go to your designated group and it's marked timestamp. And let's get started with group number one. Group number one. Let's find out how and who you will be spending your Valentine's Day with by looking at the cards. So we've got two of cups in reverse, the full card upright, the four of swords in reverse, the Sun card upright and the Magician in reverse. Ooh, if you are taking my tarot course, this is what I mean by repeating mirror patterns. Both of these cards are on the endpoints, and both of them have a sense of mirroring qualities, with the Magician and being in reverse talking about some sort of disconnect, uh, like because of the magician card representing the messenger of the gods uh, think of it in the opposite as sort of like a, a three of wands in reverse type of vibe like a disconnection and communication and same thing over here with the two of cups two of cups is an equal exchange of energy well in order to exchange energy there's going to be a, a level of communication it being in reverse there's sort of a disconnect so it's something important to talk about and sort of like a bridging theme for some of the parts of the spread but anyways let, let's focus and get into all these messages. So give me just one moment to listen to my spirit guide and look at the cards myself. Oh. Okay. I love how we function as people. Hold on, let me just make sure I get everything together. Okay. Okay. This is so great. Um, this is fantastic all around for all parties. So let's first start with single people who are romantically specifically looking for someone. I'm very happy to say you will actually be in fact meeting and then talking to someone around that time period. <laughs> I can see that over here in the four of uh, swords in reverse. My spirit guide was talking and also the full card upright, the representation of like you getting away from solitude. But my spirit guide was also confirming this and saying you're going to meet someone. And I said specifically how. They said who doesn't matter because in this particular case, it's just so varied from party to party. You 
know I'm all about like, this is the bigger percentage of what's going on. This is the bigger person. But for each individual in this particular reading, it's just too varied. Understand you're going to be meeting someone of a romantic nature that you will want to talk to. So there's enough of a catch there that you're interested in. Now, I swear I said that the the chain of events that will unfold are unchangeable, unmovable. And a ser they described it as a series of events will line up that will just kind of bring the two of you together. So if you're like, well, do I need to worry about, you know, going online on an app or what about meeting them in person? Don't worry about it. It will happen as it may. You'll run into them and there will be some form of exchange of numbers or something like that. I especially point out the numbers because of what's going on here. Again, like I said in the very beginning, the disconnection of communication. My spirit guide said that you will not be having sort of a more formal date at that time. Wait, hold on, let me just double check. Oh, some will, but most, like a very large percentage of you will more be like, texting them on that day, talking to them on that day, kind of excited that you're hanging out with them on that day. Or I'm not hanging out with them, but like, you know, communicating with them on that day. So understand, there's a very small portion of you that will actually be hanging out with them, but the larger percentage of you will just be talking. So basically, you don't got to do anything, just live your best life, a chain of events will unfold, bring the two of you together, you'll exchange numbers, hang out in that virtual type of way, you'll communicate, and for the for everybody, you will be in some sort of contact with them that day, and that's always fun. That's a very butterflies, kind of exciting type of feeling going on at this time, so that's awesome, that's cool. And it is romantic, to be clear. It's not friendship. Let me just double check. Just romantic, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my spirit guide. Anyway, so going on uh, for romantic people. Um, let me look one more time at the cards. Oh, my spirit guide was telling me that this is less of a prediction and more something that you will need to sort of make happen. So the main option I'm being given here is there is a need to spend time outdoors. And I was like, whoa, 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 because <laughs> for most people, it's freezing. <laughs> and they said, no, no, no. It's about the need for spending time outdoors, but bringing the outdoors in, and that it would be a very cute and fun option to create an indoor picnic. Specifically, the reason why my spirit guide said this is because spring is often, for many people, a super exciting time period. There's this feeling in the air with your room, you know, significant other, where you, you're going on walks. There's, even if you're not going outside, there's a sense of dreaminess of like, let's go do something. Let's go have fun. And there's there's this sense of possibility for the year that burgeons in all of us. And the act of bringing the indoors or the outdoors in is not only fun and cute, but you're sort of brainstorming together the ideas that you would like to, you know, um, what's the word, act upon, you know, activities and stuff you would like to act upon in spring. And so you're getting together being like, oh, this is fun, but can't you just wait in a couple months when, you know, we can go do X, Y, and Z and go have a fun time and, and do this. And it's sort of a bonding activity that the two of you are having together because you're both, the energy itself of spring is what we talked about this before. It's very bonding, all this possibility. And then you're bonding over the idea of possibility. Oh my goodness. This is like, the loudest plane I've heard in a while. <laughs> Sorry about it if it comes up on the mic. Anyway, so the point is, I, I was like, oh, that's so cute. Is that the only possibility for them? And my spirit guide said, no, there are other, like if you have another activity you resonate with most, most but this is the most predominant, the highest percentage, the largest frequency, whatever the term, ratio, whatever you want to use, that would be the best time possible to have. So I would recommend, you know, we make our own luck a lot of the time. There's nothing wrong with being a romantic, like being the predominant person that I know we all want it rained on us. And it doesn't mean you, you won't have it rained on you. But I would definitely recommend like, go make a little indoor picnic for your partner. And they can shower you back with romance and you can have fun, having a cute little time and getting excited for getting excited. And not only, uh, getting just pumped and feeling kind of enthused that 
it gets you it, it puts you in an energy to kind of like make it through the rest of the winter into spring but also a sense of like oh we're in this together so very bonding very romantic very cute anyway now for people who this you're not it's not about being single or romantic you just kind of want to have the day yourself well my spirit guide said in the four of swords in reverse you will be on purpose this is a subconscious thing overworking yourself up to that point in time now <laughs> this is kind of like if you notice you start to get more hours around like right before then or you actively go out of your way to choose it understand this is you attracting this to yourself the reason wait i'm going to just double check that this is correct that's correct okay cool cool so anyway the reason why you're doing this is you're putting yourself in a position to be exhausted enough mentally that you can't have a deeper emotional reaction around this day and time period and holiday. Uh, it just kind of chills you out. You're not thinking about it too deeply. You know, sometimes we all start out and be like, yeah, it's just another day, whatever. And then maybe you start to get in your head and influenced by the surrounding. This is sort of like your subconscious way of being like, not a problem, not an issue. I'm going to be overworked by then. I don't mean to exhaustion levels you need to worry about or anything you need to stress about even just hearing that. It just understand that in some way, shape and form of your life, if it feels like all of a sudden you kind of are distracted by a lot, you're like taking on a lot there is going to be a slowdown time period. Let me just double check my spare guide. Immediate slowdown time period. Cool, cool. Um, right around this time period, because you're basically building up to chill yourself out enough to thoroughly enjoy the holiday. Now, my spare guide said that, especially going back to this magician in reverse and the two of cups in reverse again, that disconnect. They said that you're going to want to disconnect on that day from other people, uh, friends, whatever. I mean, again, to each their own. I mean, if you don't want to do that, you want to do that. But it's kind of meant to be a you day. And the and and basically, you're meant to kind of just be like, hey, everyone, I'm going to take a break for a day, pushing that all aside. And I'm just going to kind of like turn off my phone, relax and, you know, have some you time, so to speak. Now, my spirit guide was very specific. They said, it would be like a day where it's all your, there's a sense of significance around it because like, you know when people are like, oh, I have a day off and they think of all the fun things they want, maybe a particular show you want to watch, a particular snack, maybe you treat yourself and you get like a heated foot spa or something cool like that, that type of cute thing. Whatever it is, you're going to make it your best day and therefore disconnect from everyone and just have you time but my spirit guide said that the type of day you're enjoying should be very low key and chill so you're you're kind of you know really chilled out from having worked so much you don't even want to think you don't even want to go anywhere you order some takeout again you put on your favorite show and you're just there's no intense pressure about being the best day ever but you're kind of pretty excited about how you're going to spend it. So again, low key energy, relaxing, but you get to enjoy, I'll tell you subtext here, who doesn't love more money when it is career based? Let me ask if it's only career based. Oh, okay, no, it won't only be for career based. For some of people, it will be more like a general busyness in life. But my spirit guide said that you'll get, so it's either like you have more hours, you get to enjoy a chunk of money before you take a little break and enjoy your, you know, nice day. And for other people, when it's like a general sense of busyness, you'll just get a lot of done. And now will be very relaxing to put in the back burner of your mind and being like, ah, I got all that stuff done. So overall, a pretty rocking day for everyone, essentially, like everyone's gonna have a good time. And who doesn't love that? <laughs> so please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, leave the video a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am wishing you the best. I'm definitely wishing you a happy Valentine's Day. I love you. <laughs> we all love you. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. And let's get ready for group number two. Group number two. Let's find out how and who you will be spending your Valentine's Day with by looking at the cards. We've got Ace of Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles upright, Two of Cups upright, Five of Swords in reverse, and Six of Swords in reverse. Give me one moment to look at everything. Oh, 
interesting okay so let's okay so let's first start with single this is specifically for people who are single and looking to be with someone else you will not be with someone on this day someone's not gonna pop up uh however i want to point out the importance of the queen of pentacles here she is sort of hanging out she's storing up her energy she's kind of working on herself or working on something in particular there's a sense of just kind of building up and building and working on something simultaneously in order to attribute and benefit from at a later point in time. So my spirit guide said that while you will be, you know, with the Ace of Cups and being reversed, there's not someone new. I mean, it's so specific uh, in case you're doing like tarot and stuff like that. Ace of Cups in reverse is often, well, I'll just say it's a pretty obvious card in a lot of cases that it's a clear like, hey, by the way, this is potential of new relationships. No, you know, it's not going to happen. But here's the thing. It's a no now, but with the two of cups being here upright and what my spirit guy was telling me, that the next relationship you have will be an incredibly significant one. Like as in long-term being with them, uh, very significant in your life in general. And I, you know, I'm asking more information saying, you know, well, is, is there a timeline I can give them or something like that? And I swear I said, for a vast majority of you, for a lot of you, it will be within six months. But then there will be some of you that it will not occur for, we'd say somewhere within two years. So it could be a year, it could be a year and a half. It's just kind of a depending situation. So there's a larger chunk, it will be within six months, and then the rest will be within two years. And remember, it's the next relationship that will be the big one. And I got even more information. My spirit guide said that the, like, Wait, let me ask if it's the way or if it is a way. Because remember, this is a general reading. The way. Okay, cool. The way. So for the way that you guys will get together is there will be some form of breakup and then getting together. Now for you, if you're the one that had the breakup and then you were meeting them, it would be more of like a breaking up of like a friendship, you breaking up with a career or a, a particular job, some sort of severance that is like a big of enough of a deal that you would even describe it as a sort of breakup, right? I, I'm just making sure I'm not over exaggerating. No, that's a correct. Okay, cool, cool. So when uh, that happens, that's when you're going to meet them. And in other cases, you will be meeting them after they've had a breakup. Now this is where it gets really cute and even more significant for the other party. Over here we have in the Six of Swords in reverse going into the Five of Swords is when the two of you get together, this is sort of like you healing them from having such a lovely relationship. So it even deepens the experience for them as well, which I'm sure they will then express to you, which will then deepen the experience for you. So even though it might not be ideal to, ex you know, meet them and well, let me ask, how fresh is this breakup? Decently fresh, like, wait, like rebound fresh? My, my spirit guy laughed and was like, no, not rebound French. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just, I'm just trying to get all the details. So even though you might be like, oh, they've kind of recently dated someone. Is this like a hindrance or whatever? It's actually a benefit in the long run with the two of you. And so I'm really happy for you in that regard. Um, so just be patient a little longer. It's not at the moment. It, Valentine's Day can be something else for you. I'd recommend sticking around to the rest of the reading, talking about people who are, you know, going to be doing something else that day. You can kind of more put yourself in that category and get excited about when you meet that a significant other. Now going on for couples. Now, <laughs> it's okay. I have good and um, maybe not the most good news around this time period. It, it is ultimately good. So keep an open mind. But I do see that leading up to it, 
I don't want to make up too big of a statement if it's like one big fight before or how did my spirit guide put it? There might be some frustration involving your other partner. So there's some sort of frustration. I don't want to make a declarative statement in this particular case if it's like one big fight, constantly arguing. There's some form of frustration in some capacity that when the two of you get together around this time period, it's a sense of like, ah, let's put down our sword, so to speak. Let's just kind of back up. Let's rebond. Let's, you know, kind of reconnect. Ah, uh, this is so relieving. We're reconnecting again. This was, this is, it's been a little tense lately. So I'm so happy we're having a good time on this day. So that, so it's a good news. Ultimately, it's going to be a good time. Um, but just something to keep in mind. Um, I do see the, see over here, it's really beautiful. The interaction between the five of swords being this, uh, you know, apologies, making amends, pulling everything down. And the six of swords in this particular case is not being read in reverse, but in fact, interacting with one another. So when they're interacting with one, I'm, I'm saying this for anybody who's taking my tarot course, um, when they're interacting with one another in this particular case, the swords in reverse. So it's like going into the five of swords. So it's interacting with it and being read as more of an upright position. Um, these are calls that you make in the moment that you feel connected to. Um, I'm also talking to my spirit guide, so I'm getting direct confirmation in that regard as well. Just putting that out there for anyone to take my tarot course. Anyways, going on. So um, when this, this is describing the two of you being like, okay, it's been a little rough, but we're making our way to the finish line. We're getting through. It's been a little bumpy on the waters for a little bit, but we're making our way to the end of the journey. We're apologizing. We're relaxing. We're pulling back. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. So my spirit guide said that the main connection point here is a combination of emotional coming together and being like, hey, I need emotional support. The other party being like, hey, I, I need emotional support. And both of you giving that to each other. But even though that is a factor being expressed there, it's like it's there. But then it, as my spirit guide put it, put it is it's predominantly getting expressed physically if you know what I mean. So in that regard, this is this is where I'm just saying it's interesting how it, seeing the bigger picture in life, how everything's connected. But over here in the Queen of Pentacles, we have somebody who is isolating themselves. In the Ace of Cups in reverse, they are on, they are without that sort of, it's being closed off, emotionally disconnected. Interestingly enough, I did ask if this would be the other party or if it would be you. It's more you being emotionally disconnected from them. And the Queen of Pentacles being like, I'm taking time. I'm cutting myself off a little bit from my partner. Maybe they were frustrating you and you're like, oh, I just want to do my own thing. Queen of Pentacles is kind of like putting their emotions on the back burner or, or the interaction between these two cards is like putting her emotions on the back burner and working on something that's a little more like physical, you know, maybe you're working like a hobby or you have something directly related to your career you're working on. You're like, I want to put my focus and energy in this regard. But then when we come to Valentine's Day, this is you and your partner finding that balance in life because we talk about that balance that everybody is looking for and everyone on a subconscious level naturally looks for they want to balance in all aspects of their life so if we look at each suit representing like your emotions your belief system and money uh uh logic and your mindset it, well, i'm totally forgetting another one passion, energy, energy specifically. These uh, parts of that are all coming together are an important aspect. And sometimes when we focus on certain areas of our life more than others, there'll be other times that catch up with us that then even the whole process out and balancing it out. So we have a balancing out. We can see over here with the swords representing the mind and being very verbal. There might be a lot of like verbal disagreements and you guys are both kind of in your own heads too much overthinking the situation or or maybe not maybe this is how you both you know stand and feel but there's a lot of expressing this way and then as a result there's a lot of like focusing more on like you know what i'm just gonna work on something tangible in my belief system and, and something over here as a distraction from my emotions and my mindset and then we get a coming together a rebalancing of being like okay we're bringing emotions back to the forefront we're giving a break from all this like logic and everything and we're just connecting to ourselves and to one another on this kind of level like we described before 
because we were missing it previously when we talk about the idea like, you know, passion and emotions and stuff like that. So it's going to be a good time. <laughs> I don't know how much talking there'll be around that time period. And uh, you're just going to feel a sense of closeness with them and it'll be a good time. So I'm happy for you. Now for people who are single and just kind of couldn't care and it's just another day to you and you're wondering like how are you gonna spend that day there will be with the queen of pentacles my spirit guide said a heavy emphasis on being alone and looking for an equal exchange of energy we have over here with the two of cups through specifically your phone there's a lot of like activity around focusing and being on your phone now the interesting thing here is my spirit guide said that this can be either good or bad and i want to extend upon this so you're looking to match your energy and hopefully you want to match it in a way that's uplifting but sometimes cathartically the way we handle things or feel a sense of like relief or closeness with ourselves and whatever we're going through is by finding sort of what's making us uncomfortable inwardly outwardly so remember i mean you know the choice really is yours but that is something to consider when the phone situation pops up so it's that day you're just vibing you're really scrolling on your phone you're that's your main focus i mean who doesn't lose themselves enjoying a bunch of videos or tv shows or whatever you're enjoying on your phone but if you start to notice it contributes in a way that is bringing you down that would be the time to then put your phone out of arm's length, you know, reaching ability and instead find things that can be an equal exchange of the energy you would like to have. So definitely be emotionally self-aware during that day. It, I'm not hinting at, I want to be clear, I'm not hinting at it being a negative time because like my spirit guide said, it can be good or bad. So for some of you, you might be like, oh my goodness, I just came upon a bunch of cool creators and I'm like vibing and I'm finding so much inspiration or cool. Maybe you have like a particular hobby that you express through collecting ideas on Pinterest or whatever or funny stories you find online. And if you're vibing and having a good day, it is just like a fun, inspirative, creative day for you. Like I said, an equal exchange of what you're looking for. It's like you find the perfect match of all the things that you're interested in and you have a good time. And basically, Basically, Valentine's Day is like just a really fun, inspiring day that you can look back at and be like, that was such a cool day and, you know, uplifted me so much. I have to remember this next time I want to have fun and look for these type of things. But if you do notice you're kind of bummed out, it's not a good time, you're starting to notice the phone's making you zone out, it's bringing you down maybe by what you're seeing, that would be a good time to realize what you need is more of an equal exchange of where you would like your energy and emotions to go. Put the phone away and find it in another capacity. So just keep that in mind. Again, it's not foreshadowing anything negative. It's just something to consider. It's, it's either inspirative and fun and creative on the phone or you find it somewhere else, which is awesome. So overall, Pretty good time for everyone. I'm very excited about that. A very emotional beast for everybody. Very like either storing your emotions, refilling your emotions, interacting with your emotions. Either way, it's working out beneficially for everyone. And who doesn't love that? <laughs> So please give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I just want to say that I am wishing you the best and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. I love you. We all love you. And let's get ready for the next group. Group number three. Group number three. Let's find out how and who will you be spending your Valentine's Day with by looking at the cards. We've got King of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles upright. Ooh, another six. Ooh, I love that. Six of Wands in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, and Seven of Swords upright. For my people who are taking my tarot course, 
the six, man, you know how much I love the six. You know that the six is super high vibrational. And when you're high vibes and you're in that type of mindset, it has an enormous amount of benefits that build and build and build beyond. So let me just look at the details, but I'm already loving the vibes. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, a lot of a lot of this. This is interesting. Uh, a lot of these concepts sort of run into one another. So especially listen to the entire thing because you will. I mean, I always say listen to the whole thing because I use a lot of you know. I'll explain something in detail in one area, and then if you hear it later, it might not make sense unless you heard the other detail. But in this particular case, a lot of concepts are going to be overlapping for all three parties we mentioned before. So let's first start with single people. So let's, I would say this is the main concept that is in every single aspect is the idea that you will not be alone on Valentine's Day. And the Six of Pentacles upright, I am being told there will be some form of togetherness. <laughs> this could be with like friends, it could be like a social type of event. Again, this works with like romantic partners too, but I'm jumping ahead, we'll get to that in a moment. But there's a sense of, uh, a, some sort of fun having, you know, happening. Now I was asking my spirit guide, well, what's the difference between this and the Three of Cups? Because if you're familiar with tarot, Three of Cups is much more the party card and much more social gathering. Well, my spirit guide said, you are going to be the person planning it. That also matches over here with the King of uh, Wands in reverse. Now this is being more read, again, this is for people who are enjoying my tarot course, it's not being read in reverse in this particular case, again, because I got confirmation my spirit guide, or you can make that call on your own if you feel that resonates with you. But if you look over here, we have the interaction of, and we're going to come back to this later, of all the cards sort of running into itself and being led this way. So it's not that this is being read in reverse, but it's sort of like everything's moving in this direction and kind of implying this idea of it's all leading up and out to something else. So anyways, focusing back on here, you're going to be the person that orchestrates the social event. I know that might not be ideal for some people because, you know, you want to feel like during this time period you're being showered upon, but you're going to be the one that starts it all off to have a good time and it will be worth it in the long run with especially how everybody views you. There's a lot of people having a good time and looking at you like, wow, you're where it's at. You're where the fun is at. Look at, look at, uh, there's a sense of control you kind of have. Not that you will be controlling, but because you so perfectly orchestrate the energy and people can feel you're the one that orchestrated the, you know, togetherness and everything like that. And you're the one that sort of, sort of like, you know how sometimes certain events are just like not a good time until someone in particular shows up? you're the good time, but you started the good time, which is really fun and cool. So understand that will be recognized. We have that uh, confirmed over, over here with the six of wands as well. But I want to focus on the idea of this other person popping up, which is really cute. So over here in the Queen of Swords, um, my spirit guide said that you will be confronting somebody else. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean confronting? <laughs> I also did check with them and I asked if this is somebody you already know and they said oh you don't know them yet but you will get to know this other person around that time so there's sort of this subtext there where like you might be aware of them or maybe have met them a couple days before and then maybe that's how you invite them to the event or by product they are like a friend of a friend and that's how they come over that type of thing but you get what I'm saying here anyways so in some cases with the queen of swords interacting over here with the six of wands and I want to be clear this energy with the six of wands is like they are a good looking person and this other person is like I, I almost get kind of a vibe of they're a little aware of it. I don't mean this in like an egotistical way. Just sometimes people feel cute and they express it in a way where they kind of are aware. I mean, who doesn't have those occasional days where you're like, oh, 
I'm looking good. I'm feeling it. I hope other people notice. You get what I'm saying here. So they are just kind of like this attractive person that like exhibits themselves at this sort of event and you confront them. And I was like, what do you mean? So in some cases, this is like a confessional thing of you being the one to pursue them and being like, hey, I think you're cute. Would you like to keep talking after this? You know, no pressure, obviously on this special day to do anything, but like, what's up? We're having a cute, a meet cute and let's talk at another late point in time. What do you think? What do you feel? And for other people, my spirit guide said, confronting is such an interesting term. I understand what they mean vibrationally. It's so, I'm going to do the best I can to explain. So take what I'm about to say as sort of like an analogy, not an exact explanation, but it's almost like maybe you met them initially and they like spilled coffee on you. And then you see them at the party and you confront them and you're like, hey, you never apologized for spilling coffee on me. Or like, hey, I want to talk about this real quick. So it's not like hostile, but it is some form of like, let's talk about this in a kind of cute, flirty way that's meant to sort of start the conversation off. And you might say, which one is it? Well, you will know. (laughs) Because either there's no reason to confront them in this manner, and you just go to be like, hey, I'm letting you know, I'm just being, and again, we got a queen of swords. This is someone who's being like super upfront. Hey, I'm being straightforward. This is how I feel. This is where I'd like to go. What do you think about this? So it's a lot of confidence. And I want to point this out with the six of pentacles. I did ask my spirit guide because like I was asking about like the sort of flavor of this card again, comparing it to the three of cups. Another difference is, um, is this exhibits during this time period, you're just really confident. And that includes financially as well as, wait, can I say emotionally, you said? Yes, emotionally as well, which is really cool. So you're just kind of like making it rain, so to speak, with everyone else. Everyone's getting to benefit from how well you're doing. So do we? Do, who doesn't love that, essentially? So this is you confronting someone and being like, hey, I think you're cute, you know, so on and so forth. And no matter what it is, it's leading to this idea of where are we going to go from here now? Now, I did do a little more digging and I was like, well, what's the response of this other person? Because when the card is facing away, it feels more like you're sort of chasing them, theoretically, like you're sort of letting them know. And it almost seems like they're continuing to move on without you. However, remember, we have you as an analogy over here in the Six of Pentacles. They are drawn to that energy. You are going after them and they are drawn after that. So remember during that time period, really acknowledge and enjoy that you are enough and what kind of started this entire in like kind of fun little day that you're enjoying with your like loved ones, friends, whatever, is contributing to them thinking, hmm, they're pretty cool. I like this. I want to be around this more. And so just like know that you will be enough. I mean, you're enough right now, but like, you know, when we feel like we're really like self-aware and connected that you're like having the best version of yourself exhibited, you will feel connected to that. Just know that's more than enough to draw them in and then start and work from there, which is really fun. Now for couples. Couples. Yes, there can be like a little romance sprinkled in, but it will, there will be another person sort of third wheeling or some sort of social event, but I'm happy to say that this is not unwanted. Um, this does not feel like a third wheel. Uh, it's just a bunch of good friends all together. It's kind of like, you know, when sometimes couples are friend with like a third member, I think of it like that there's a third member and they're just like both friends with them and and no one and everyone's like happy they're there everyone's mutually friends with them and they're all having a good time so expect it to be like a really fun social nice time and it's just it's just simple as that there there is go i'm not saying you're not going to turn your partner and be like oh i love you and give them a little kiss but it will be more of a just general happiness and vibing with other people and just a good just a good weekend i don't know what day the 14th falls on, but you get what I'm saying. Now, for people who are wanting that to just kind of be, you know, any other day, this again goes back to the singles thing. I want to be clear here with the energy going on with the King of Wands in reverse. 
this is specifically or it's not being read in reverse it's being read upright but it's you don't get what i'm saying this is specifically somebody who is sort of like a mastermind in the sense that they are everyone's having a good time and it's fun but the person who's creating the fun is aware and the underlying kind of goal they're moving towards. So this is everyone being like, oh man, I just floated from one cool social thing at the thing at the event to the next, but you are orchestrating like, okay, we're gonna watch a movie and it's gonna be themed and we're gonna wear costumes and now we're gonna go do this. So understand this is again identifying and again confirming this awareness that you will be the one creating your own fun. You are the one putting everything together. It will come across as very seamless. Keep in mind the King of Wands feels very seam like for him it's seamless too. Like he's having a good time too. But people are gonna be like, whoa, it just kind of like magically happened. And you're gonna be like, oh, I knew what I was doing. I'm a genius. I know how to have a good time. Have fun. <laughs> um, but as you notice, all of these various people are being led and drawn to your energy environment. And we can actually get really specific here. So we have over here in the six of wands. Wait, let me just double check that I was hearing this from my spirit guide. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was I was hearing this correctly. So in the seven of wands, we have sort of like a during the social event, this sort of like, we're revealing secrets. You know, we're I don't want to say like truth or dare, but it's this I mean, it could be truth or dare. Um, <laughs> my sister guys like it could be. But it's more this like you're just all vibing and having a good time. And you all start like kind of being like, guess what, let me tell you this kind of thing. Let me let's be honest, I'm feeling it, I feel safe to express these certain things. And then with the Queen of Swords, we have this, no matter what, secrets are revealed. It's this lovely environment where everyone feels like they can be their most authentic self. So to me, that is a very loving environment because that day is associated with love. And to me, to feel like you can be your most authentic, genuine self, and then be that in a group of other people that also feel like they're most authentic or genuine self is like truly those moments in time and memories we build that we look for and we see and we hope for within ourselves. So beautiful, great, good, basically like good vibes event. And then over here with the six of wands, again, it keeps repeating, repeated over and over and over again, how much people are recognizing and applauding what you've created. They recognize and are drawn to your confidence emotionally, energetically, financially. You basically are just your best self that day. And in some cases, you're just kind of having a good time with friends. In other cases, you're meeting somebody else that you pursue and they're vibing it back. And in other cases, you're with someone you love and it's sharing that love with even more people. So either way, it's just kind of like a good time, good vibes only. <laughs> so I hope you're excited about that. That is just, it. it's not only exciting that you're going to have a good time overall, no matter the situation you're in, but I really want to focus on how great you're doing around this time. And we all try to strive to be that. And you're going to, you're going to be that. So I love that. <laughs> so feel free to give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am wishing you the best. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. We all love you. And let's get ready for our final group group number four group number four let's find out how and who you will be spending your valentine's day with by looking at the cards we've got queen of wands in reverse nine of swords in reverse king of wands in reverse wow the world card in reverse and ten of pentacles Okay, give me a moment to look at everything. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, for the people who this is not going to be romantic for, such a random thing to pop up. I love it. Okay, let's start with people are single 
and they are looking for romance. Specifically, I want to focus on over here. So first off, you are being exhibited in the Queen of Wands. Who doesn't love that? Uh, she is probably one of the more like blatantly discussing you how physically attractive you are. So you are basically hot to this other person, which is awesome and beautiful. But she also exhibits a lot of like confidence. She's like the it girl. She's both like chased after, but she's kind of consciously aware of it and vibes it. But she also isn't afraid of interacting and going out of her way like she only she doesn't only wait to be pursued she'll interact back and be like hey what's up let me know what's going on so uh a lot of oh, self-awareness enjoying how you feel around that other time and someone else being drawn to it i am being told and i'm a little surprised about this my spirit guide doesn't make definitive statements so strongly very often so i always like to point out either the ratio or percentage of something the chance of it happening for the vast majority of the audience that's experiencing this and so it's i always take note when you know they're like this is it this is what's going to happen so they said that you will not be single during this time period you will meet somebody and then be with them for this valentine's day but here's the thing this is something that can change, and I'm putting that out there as a positive thing. We have the other person being expressed as the Nine of Swords and how they are being drawn to you. So they are somebody, and I want to be very clear about this, there is nothing wrong with going through an emotionally turbulent time or figuring out yourself or you know, nothing, nothing about this, these type of emotions and being in the state of your life is a negative thing. In this particular case, though, they are kind of at a place in their life where I'll be honest with you, I do not pick up the vibe that they're the one for you, or even a relationship you're going to really want to dabble in, in general, and not because of where they're at emotionally and with their stresses and feeling overwhelmed. But like, just as a person, they're fine, but they're, they're nothing, there's just not this deep connection there. But the part that can be kind of like something you might not want to experience is they're at a point in their life where they kind of are looking to latch on to someone so attractive and confident. They want that in themselves, so they're drawn to you, and that's not necessarily a bad thing for either one of you. But there's kind of this vibe of them potentially unloading on you. Wait, hold on a second. My spirit guide is speaking. <laughs> my spirit guide's like, they will unload on you. And it's not a fun Valentine's Day. It's just basically you with somebody who you're at one point in your life and they're at another. Again, it is not a bad thing. There's nothing negative about not feeling like your best self. This is totally human and normal. We're not like shaming this. But if you're at a point in your life, you're like, oh my goodness, this is not what I'm feeling right now. I don't want to be, you know, sometimes you don't want to, you know, you wanted one, you know, energy and vibe for the situation and somebody wasn't reading that correctly. And it's just not the time and place. It's not the right connection, the right person. And sometimes people can insensitively unload on someone because it's more important for them to express it than rather than reading the room and seeing if it's the right kind of time and place for everyone involved, so to speak. So this is the thing. It does not mean this has to happen. I understand that my spirit guide said that you will be with this other person, but I checked with them. They said that if this person shows up and you give them permission to be with you and they're like, they ask you out, then you will be together on that day. So they're going to pop up. They're popping up no matter what for people who are, and I'm specifically talking about people who are single and looking for somebody else. That's the intention you're putting out in the world. This is the person popping up. If you say yes, you will be together on that day and then the unloading happens you don't have to have that happen so don't worry about this being a negative thing this is a positive warning because this is why i love tarot and i talk about this all the time we do tarot so we can foresee things and avoid things or fix things before they even happen it's beautiful it's a beautiful system it saves you a lot of time and grief so when you this other person pops up 
I mean, it's the choice is really yours at the end of the day. But if you don't want to experience this, you can be like, oh, no, thank you, dear person. You know, I'm good. Because again, this is not the love of your life. This is just a person that's drawn to you. And we want to compliment how cute you are. They're very drawn to you. And how great you're doing in your life. Awesome, good vibrations during that time period. Lots of confidence, lots of attractive qualities in multiple ways. Um, but not only is this not a long-term option for you but like eh, is that what you want to really experience uh, i did double check with my spirit guide like how will you know my spirit guide said it will be noticeable that they are not in the best place in your, their life and they and you'll feel that you'll notice that right away it's not something that's going to be like man like everything seemed like it was going to be this wonderful amazing experience and then i was totally shocked where it went you're going to feel where they're at. It's going to be noticeable. So uh, just sort of a forewarning. And then the choice is yours. And the my spirit guide said that we're going to get to the people that are single and kind of they're not really looking for a romantic option. And we're going to go to that and pay attention because you can basically avoid this and then go fit yourself into that uh, group and situation. Wait, are the two related? they are okay then definitely stick around because you'll be excited about what's going on in that part of the reading now for couples again this is sort of a forewarning now it does have positive news in the end but you are being again warned so over here in this king of wands in reverse and it is being read in reverse my spirit guide said and so is the one uh, the world card in reverse these are guys are interacting but they're leading into the ten of pentacles it's a good thing so the King of Wands in this case is sort of like a controlling vibe, a feeling of trying to force sense of fun when maybe it's just not naturally meant to happen. And I want to focus on the importance that's being given on the world card in reverse. The world card in reverse is when like two people are kind of like needing some form of a win in the relationship and they can just there's some sort of like bond they can have off off of mutually agreeing off of something mutually succeeding at something as a couple it's like bringing you guys together and being like yeah that we did this together which is not necessarily a bad thing that's not always a negative thing in a or, or isn't a ne it, it, it can or cannot be a negative thing depending on the reading in the situation but in this particular case the way my spirit guide put it is it's like forcing a situation that's not natural to you guys right now and when i say that it's like creating like maybe you guys have been let's say they've been a little off in the relationship or you know you're trying maybe you haven't been romantic in this kind of way everything's been fine but you haven't been romantic in this kind of way in a little while and just being like oh we have to have this perfect relationship you know we have to we have to propose on this day we have to and obviously i'm going like over exaggerated here um but like we have to like they have to get me flowers or i have to get them flowers or i and i have to it's like putting too much of a like what would i socially need to do to like show off to other people and i don't get the vibe let me just check i i got a confirmation on that i don't get the vibe that you need to show off to people it's more of like an internal showing off to yourself it's like it's like an inner monologue of like is this what i'm supposed to do kind of thing and again when we have the king of wands it's a sense of like forcing fun and forcing a narrative that's not really natural right now to you guys and you're being warned to not do that now what, what do you do instead my spirit guide said that just let things kind of happen so if that day comes and nothing special happens between the two of you you just kind of you watch some tv it's whatever it's another day that's not necessarily a negative thing and if something does pop up where like you're vibing you are talking there's no pressure on the day so because there's no pressure naturally you just are like hey you want to watch a movie together and it feels like a cute little event between the two of you and it's like low-key but a little bit romantic and that naturally happens that's cool too but whether something or not happens is not important it's about understanding that if you remove that pressure that the potential two of you could potentially have and let it organically happen however it's going to happen on that day whatever happens i'm really happy to say the ten of pentacles pops up 
and it has a strong uh, sense of like long-term positive success in the relationship. Because when I think of Ten of Pentacles and being this idea of like investment, inheritance, this idea of like uh, like building something now that will greatly benefit you and continue to benefit you in the long run, it's like you guys are mutually learning the lesson of like, who says you have to be the couple that does something special on the 14th? Who cares? Like, don't do that. Or maybe you guys don't function well when things are like you guys function better when it's a little more spontaneous and natural and is how it is whenever it is. But understanding that it's detrimental to the two of you if you think you need to live up to a standard that both of you don't even really like. That's not who you are as people. Like you're, you feel like you're putting pressure on something that you don't even necessarily believe in. It's you're understanding who you are who you both are in the relationship and in the long term, there'll be more communication, more natural, you know, acts of romance between the two of you, more natural, just like you're just kind of basically removing what could be an unnecessary tension that doesn't need to be there. Again, it could potentially be a little more fun and romantic during that day. That can happen. I'm not saying that can't happen, but just don't worry about whatever happens. It doesn't, even if nothing happens, it doesn't mean you won't have other wonderful time periods the next day, the 15th, you know what I mean? So take away the pressure so you can have that long-term foundation building success that will really pay off in the long run for both of you, which is really beautiful. Again, remember, 10 of pentacles is major payoff. So very positive sign. Take that pressure off both of you. Have a good time, basically. Now, for single people... Uh, totally has nothing to do with any of this. Totally out of left field. Remember, for people who don't want this interaction on Valentine's Day, you say no to them. You are now in this category. <laughs> My spirit guide said you will receive a a large amount of money or some money. A large amount of money. All right, all right. Very nice. And the coolest part about all of this is if you have been kind of fretting over you know, money, like, maybe you've been like, or not money, like, um, you've been fretting over like completing something like your brain is like, I have to complete this to receive this, it can deal with career. But it can also it doesn't even have to be like, it, it can be about getting a promotion, it can be about accomplishing a task in order to come across a certain way. Maybe you feel like you're not a complete whole person. And you've been focusing on that, you're gonna let that go you're kind of being given sort of a lesson from the universe of not only the benefit of being like here financially is cool stuff happening for you but also look it still happened and you didn't have to be complete and whole entirely to still have success that isn't the goal or necessarily what has to happen in order to be successful you're learning like a greater concept in like manifesting and success and you will, I mean, hopefully you will take that narrative with you in the long run by realizing, oh my goodness, take off this pressure on myself. I can still, tr you know, go out of my way to aspire for things and complete them. But if they're not complete, who says I can't have a good time and receive a lot of good stuff along the way? I don't have to sort of put my happiness and possibility of receiving on the back burner to a certain state of time or end point in whatever a thing you're trying to accomplish that includes both you know as a person and feeling complete or completing a certain amount of tasks and stuff so overall really positive and like totally out of left field like the universe is loving you with money <laughs> Um, but for everybody else, it can still be a good time. You're just kind of basically being forewarned to either avoid some unnecessary stuff or un avoid things in order to build a long term better foundation in the relationship as a whole. So overall, really wonderful, really just taking the pressure off everything, being your best self, receiving a lot of good stuff, feeling like your best self, <laughs> lots of good stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am wishing you the best. I am wishing you a happy Valentine's Day. I love you. We all love you. And goodbye.